Hey guys, what's up? It's Zach here, and I, if you've been following any of my videos recently, you'll know that I recently reviewed the HP M277DW, which is what I currently have right here. And I've had it since the end of October of 2015. Today is October 1st, 2016, and the time has come to change the toner. So, all in all, I've been very impressed with how long the toner lasted, especially considering it was just the setup. I know the black one comes with full toner, but uh, the color ones are, uh, you know, they're all half full, I believe. But all in all, all, all of them have been lasting longer than they were quoted for. Like, black was quoted for 1500 Color was quoted for, I believe, 700 And both have been above. So, but yeah, toner is out now. So, or almost out. I'm just going to print the diagnostic page real quick. So, to print the diagnostic page, you can just go to supplies. As you can see, supplies are very low. Just the magenta is almost out. I'm going to click report. And if I do that, there are some serial numbers on here, so I'm going to cover those up. But if you look right here for the black, wherever it is, are you going to focus? Well, it's a little overexposed, but I'm just going to read it off. Black is currently reading as very low, and 1,571 were their approximate pages printed. And for all the colors, the supplies are very low, except for magenta, which has about 100 pages left. And, there are, and there's been about 898 pages printed with them. So all in all, I'm very impressed considering that this lasted for a whole year. My ink, I would have to replace for all the printers except for the one HP. For the ink I have to replace basically once every month or two. So all in all, we are saving money even though the toner is really pricey. But I'm just going to sort of talk about that really briefly. The toner for this printer is really pricey. It's uh, about 68 or so for the black and around close to 80 for the color which is a little bit, you know, you know, a little bit overwhelming with those prices, but all in all, I'm not going to talk too much, I'm just going to get right into it. But to change the tone up first, what you're going to do is you're going to pull down this door right here, and then you're going to see this blue tab right here. I just want to make sure it's appearing, so you're going to pull down on that, and pull forward like a little drawer, and everything right here. So as you can see, the colors all line up, black K right there, lines, lines there. So, actually, I'm, I apologize, but you guys can use black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. But basically, if you pull out black, you'll see a little sign right here that says black. And that's not really on camera, you can't really tell, but I'll just do it with the magenta. That'll probably be the most easy to see. Put the magenta, you can probably see right there. That there's a little, you can't really, but if I just go like this, you see a little magenta tab. But basically, so I'm just going to replace it one at a time. Forgive me, I've never actually, I know how to replace a toner, I just don't know how to unwrap it, so forgive me if I'm a little sloppy with the first one. I'm just going to go in order. So, I don't know if I already said it, but the toner is 201. 201A or X, either of them will work. X is basically a high yield, and I say it's worth it, but we just got the 201A, because we didn't really need the X. Here's the black one. As you can see, 201A. And... I'm going to start by just tearing down on the side right there. I'm trying to focus on the printer, I can tell, but I'm just going to do this off the side of my bed over here. I'm going to pull it out. Okay, interesting. I've replaced toner before, but not with this. So this one, it looks like it's better. I think it's more eco-friendly now, instead of all that plastic wrapping. Now you sort of just get this little casing. And if I open up the casing, so I see it's sort of like stapled shut almost right there. But as you can see, it's fine around the corner. It's just sort of like, oh, there we go. I'm just trying as hard as I can to not damage the toner. Alright, so here's the toner right here. It's important to never tr touch the imaging drum or the blue belt right there because doing so could damage the cartridge and affect the image quality. I'm just going to first take out the black. I'm going to put the new black in. 
Again, you're gonna line it up like that. There's our black. Now we're gonna do the same process for all of the other cartridges. Cyan next. And while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna talk about something really quick, but basically one if you're in the market for a laser printer and you're watching this video sort of considering whether this is a good printer to get, basically uh, I recommend either a Canon or an HP. I'm not necessarily biased to either brand, but the reason I say that is because I, I don't recommend getting a brother or Dell or Xerox or any of those brands. But the reason I say Canon or HP is because with Canon or HP, the imaging drum and the toner and everything is all in the one cartridge. So basically, every time you install a new cartridge, it's equivalent to setting up a new printer. Meanwhile, if you get a Canon, I mean, no, it's the same thing with Canon. If you get a Brother, the imaging drum and all that are separate, so there'll be more breakdowns and they'll be more expensive to maintain and more difficult to maintain. So, i say go with the easiest and cheapest to maintain, which be Canon and HP. I know that the toners are a bit cheaper for HP. Canon is a little overpriced, but I believe it's better for offices. I don't know if you're being very careful to not touch that imaging belt. I'm grabbing it by this little handle that it has right there. Again, line it up. Got one more. Got the yellow. Same deal. Just line it up. And basically, just to make sure that it's facing the correct way, you want to make sure all the text is facing the right way when you're looking at the printer. So now that it's done, we are just going to take this and just slide it back in, just like that, lift up the door, and now it should initialize. If you look on the screen, it says, okay, see, it says genuine HP installed, just so you can see what it's doing. And now it's printing document. Nope, okay. So we are currently done installing the toner. Now we're just gonna print a test page. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go to setup, reports, and I'm gonna go to demo page. Service error, okay, that's a little weird. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna go to setup, reports, Demo page. And now this time it's like it's printing, so we should be good. Alright. Looks good, so there you have it. And it does look like it's better quality too, but there you have it. That is replacing your toner on your HP MFP M277. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below, or feel free to email me at zmg2help at gmail.com. Uh, that email will be in the description also. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.